that God worked special miracles by the hands of Paul so that, so what we call prayer cloths, right? Because it said that from his body were brought into the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Notice there was no mention before this of any cloth being sent out. Paul did this, one of the, the first persons mentioned. Now we know that clothing can be saturated with the power of God. We know that faith activates that power because I can take a prayer cloth. We've actually done this before and we've handed it to a person and it goes from one person to the next and the people that got it, each one of them were healed. Then we've seen other cases where you hand it to one person and then they hand it to somebody else and the first one didn't get healed, but the next one did. Why? And, and now notice, but the power was there. But faith has to be mixed with the power. Is that right? Now, in times past, when somebody asked me for a prayer cloth, many times I would take it, hold it in my hands, minister, you know, release life into it. We don't really pray necessarily. We just release life. <clears throat> but if I release my faith, then every person that gets that cloth gets healed. If I just lay hands on it and pray for God to heal the people as, as it goes, then it only works for the people that have faith. Why? Because faith has to be released to activate power. That's the way it works. Now, it can be the person's faith or it can be my faith. It doesn't matter, you know, but the idea is that there has to be faith. Now, but now notice, it says that this is special miracles. Isn't that something? It's not even regular miracles. I mean, can you imagine that? Special miracles. Now, let me put it this way. Miracles are whenever you minister to people and they get healed instantly right there in front of them, in front of you, you know, right there, bam, okay, that's a, that's a miracle. Special miracles, okay? When you lay hands on a sick and they get healed, that's doing the works of Jesus. But whenever you release a cloth and the cloth goes and it's a special miracle, what is that called? Greater works. Why? Jesus never did that. He wore cloth. They touched the cloth. They, anybody that touched him got healed, that had faith, right? And so there are miracles, and then there's special miracles, right? So there's works, and then there's greater works. Amen? So don't get all hung up on the terminology. The idea is people are getting helped. That's what counts. And God wants to help people wherever they are. Amen?